There's a chilling memory from my childhood that still haunts me to this day. My younger brother had just been born, and I had been moved to share a room with him. One peculiar morning, I woke up to find myself tucked into bed in an eerily precise manner. My body aligned in the completely opposite direction. The covers were so tightly drawn around me that it took considerable effort to free my arms. Fast forward a few years when I was a fresh-faced teenager of 15. One evening, as I was heading downstairs to watch television, I glanced into my old bedroom now occupied by my sister Rose. There she was, perched on the top bunk, looking back at me with a mischievous smirk. I called out to her, suggesting she join me downstairs for some television. At that moment a noise from the living room startled me, and I rushed downstairs. To my utter disbelief, my sister was already there, looking as baffled as I felt. I raced back upstairs only to find the bedroom empty, save for the light that was still on. Back then I chalked it up to a ghostly encounter, but now I understand it to be the work of a jinn, a supernatural creature from Islamic mythology that can shapeshift and manipulate reality. But the strange occurrences didn't stop there. When I was 14, I stumbled upon a horrifying sight in our front garden. Our family cat was sniffing around the cleanly severed top half of a hair, a cut so precise it seemed impossible to have been made by a blade. Even more unsettling was the absence of any blood around the carcass. The look of sheer terror etched into the hare's face suggested a swift, unexpected death. Was it the work of a twisted human, or something far more sinister? In the years 2014 and 2015, my parents' backyard became the final resting place for two deceased cats. Both were from a mile away with no apparent reason to venture so far. Their heads had been brutally bludgeoned, a gruesome sight that sent chills down our spines. Were these animal attacks the work of a sadistic madman or the experiments of extraterrestrial beings? To summarize, my life has been punctuated by a series of peculiar events and chilling discoveries, from waking up in a bed made in an eerily precise manner, to witnessing what seemed to be a doppelganger of my sister, to the horrifying animal mutilations, these strange occurrences have left me with more questions than answers. Whether the work of supernatural entities, a disturbed human or even extraterrestrial beings, this chilling experiences continue to haunt me, serving as a chilling reminder of the mysteries that surround us.